So, I'm sitting here at Ryan's parents' office. I have known Ryan's mother half my life. Um, she and I met, Sharon and I met at Studio 54. Studio 54. We were baby. We both met because I broke my high heel and so did your mother. And I showed your mother how to balance on one foot like this. With her high heels on with a broken heel. So she was walking like this and I told her you have to walk like that. And I showed her how to walk with it. One heel on and one busted up broken I'm heel. Face, sir. Thank you. One busted up heel and one good heel. Because and he's doing, no, I'm really, I'm liking his choices. What fascinated me about this whole fashion world was that I just loved to play dress up so. and be creative, and which is really interesting and great. No, he's, he's and then um, I was stopped by a woman um, in Capital Carnegie from Giorgio Armani <laughs> to model for Jean-Paul Gaultier. And um, she said, my God, there's this designer that you should see. And um, she's having a show. And I think it'd be really, really great. So I went to see him. He liked me. He booked me. And then during that show, I got the bug. The bug to want to be on the cat. So I began going on casting to then Monique Pilar, president of Elite. She said that I should do fashion shows and get a contract with Japan, so they sent me to Tokyo. And I lived in Tokyo for a while. Then they said maybe you should go to Paris. So I ended up in Paris. But what most people don't know is that my real job in education was in accounting. Yes, I went to school to be an accountant. Strange and oddly enough, true. That's why I'm like, I would tell people I keep a Jew in both pockets. The accountant and the lawyer. Because no one, no one ever knows how smart and down to earth that is. Yes, I was editing yes. crazy, but I do make some oh, sense. Yes. So I've been living in Paris for the past 21 years. And there I developed this knack for teaching girls how to walk in the capital. So I began to teach famous models who were not famous then to walk down the capital. And then from that, this whole thing started with teaching miles on the walk, then people began speaking about it. One person walked another person and said, this guy Jay is very good, you should go to him. Then the first designer who actually um, taught me the tricks of the trade was Valentino. He hired me to work for him to teach girls how to walk, and that's how that happened. Um, to teach you girls in the wall and turn into this whole big, huge um, phenomenon. There's this strange man, kind of a strange, really weird black man teaching models in the walk in the catwalk, but he's very good. And that's how that started. So, um, in the end, I began teaching girls. And then from that, I ended up working with Tara Banks to make a long story short for America's Next Top Model which is now in its 12th cycle that we're shooting here in New York City. And in shooting this uh, TV show, it's been quite crazy. Um, people get nuts because they just love models and fashion, and, but they love me more. They love me, Miss J. And um, doing this, it has opened me up to a lot of great possibilities that you can dream as big as you want. But until you get that moment, keep dreaming. Take every opportunity that you have to do what you do. I have a story that we always tell about feet. Bunions and corns and bad feet. And, um, but you will not see my monkey paws. You will not see That's red boots. There will be no monkey paws today. Because your mother never wear high heels, and then they be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> the feet would be killing you. She broke her Charles Rodin's, and I broke my Charles Rodin's champagne heels. That's how we met, as I said earlier. But I was <laughs> gripping, and I also had bologna and cheese in mind because my foot was 
My feet hung over the back of the front just a little bit like a bologna and cheese sandwich when the bologna and cheese is too big for the bread. That's a dumb um, expression. <laughs> but it worked. I, I was with such flair and fabulousness that no one ever noticed that I had bologna and cheese or biscuit heels. Scrumptious biscuits? So I just gave you a very quick bio on me. <laughs> Jay Alexander, a.k.a. Miss Jay Hunter, is next to the model. So, um, good luck, and when, and when you win your first Oscar, remember me, Miss Jay, because I helped you get started. Say thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Alex Jenkins is, like, the best guy in the world because he helped us out with the video, and he's on America's Next Top Model. So, he's like the best guy in the world, and yeah, and if you're watching Alex, hi! Make sure you watch America's Next Top Model because Alex Jenkins, as known as Miss J, is the best in the world.